Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video I'll be talking about how to set up a brand new version of Eden emulator which is known as Eden PR build so Eden is an completely open source Nintendo Switch emulator and it's officially available on its open source GitHub but if you just go ahead and take a look at its last release then it was released last month and since then there have been no updates for the Eden emulator is what many people thought but no guys Eden emulator also has a Eden CI GitHub where they provide you with PR builds which are basically testing builds of the newest versions of Eden emulator. These are basically released very frequently and you can see the latest build was released just an hour ago. Second latest build was released 9 hours ago and so on the update continues. For today's video we'll be trying out the latest Eden PR build. Now currently as of filming this video I am feeling <coughs> really ill whenever I try to speak loudly. <coughs> I have got very severe tonsillitis so I won't be able to uh, speak very loudly. So when you update to the latest version of Eden Emulator CI build you will notice that the logo has also been changed. So let's start setting it up right away. Let's launch it for the first time after a tap on next button and you will need to import all of these three stuff which is going to be your keys, your firmware as well as the folder where you have legally dumped your Nintendo Switch games. So we'll start adding them one by one. Once you complete all of these three steps it will say complete. Tap on the next button, tap on get started and that's about it. You have successfully set up the newest version of Eden Nintendo Switch Emulator. For today's video we have these three games that we'll be testing out but let's tap on settings and start setting it up by applying the best settings. So we'll go to advanced settings system limit speed percentage I'll set it to 400. You can copy the settings which I'm about to show you guys I won't be speaking much. Now once you apply the best settings you can also use custom graphics driver to better your performance in any game if you have a snapdragon processor android device. For turnip drivers you can use either Mr. Purple turnip graphics driver or kimchi turnip graphics driver the latest version for snapdragon 8 gen 3 or below. For snapdragon 8 elite you can use the game hub emulators 8 elite graphics driver and that is what I'll be doing as the device which I am using is Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Once you apply the graphics driver, it will automatically clear all shaders and that's about it. Now all you have to do is select the game that you want to play and let's launch it to see how well does it work inside the Eden Emulator's latest PR builds, the secret version of Eden Emulator some might say. So here we go, Super Mario Galaxy has successfully started. Let's press the A button and choose a save file, tap on the Yes button and you guys can see when the touch output is working. So let's go with Mario, let's tap on yes. You guys can see all the graphics are being rendered properly even on Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android device. And that is the speciality of the Eden emulator CI builds. There can be some frequent color issues here and there, but that will all be very minimal. So if you guys want to play this on your Android device, then yeah, you can definitely do that with the help of Eden emulator for Android. Anyways, let's try out a different game, which is going to be Mortal Kombat 1. Let's see if this game boots on Snapdragon 88. Well, it did boot. That's pretty amazing. But this game has a very huge cutscene and my throat is really paining. So unfortunately, I won't be able to show you the gameplay part. Well, <laughs> the game just crashed. So let's try out our next game, which is Pokemon Legends ZA. Nope. This also crashes on 8 Elite, on Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or below, both of these games will also work. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.